Alrighty. I just finished the chapter we don't go to Ravenhome. I just finished the chapter we don't go to Let's try that one more time. The soundtrack, though. Grenades. I think I'm gonna need to use those. I've never noticed this before. Neat. This is where, if we're not being careful and not watching our environment, we miss something important. But we see a dead combine. Obviously he fought with some of the zombies. And we get a big crate full of grenades. And so for a really dense... Never gets old. But yeah, the um, I don't think the Xbox version had a quick switch to the gravity gun, so that made that made it much harder to play on. Uh... So yeah, on the Xbox version with uh, no quick switch for the gravity gun was a little bit harder. And then the AI here is smart enough to shoot uh, explosives if you're right next to him. And he starts to remove my cover too. Oh shit. That event is scripted. Ooh, boy. I think he has a raycast to me, and if he can't see my face, he basically can't see me. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Nope! I lost way too much health there. Oh, I think this might be the first combine shotgunner we see. Those guys, they've got the orange eyes, and they do a crap ton of damage if they get up close to you.
Ah, uh, yes, the uh, the combine rifle. This thing is pretty cool. And then we're given a big open space to play with it. Its accuracy is okay, it's not great. Really, the 357 is a better, like, sniper rifle almost. It's kind of weird. Alright, what are they doing? I think in Half-Life Episode 2, they vastly improved their AI, but I'm not sure. Winston's been hit. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Gordon Freeman. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communication from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Gordon, you made it through Raven Home. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The Vortigons tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm gonna hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? He won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the tow can. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Narco? Bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. <sighs> Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any part. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers. You'll stand a fair chance against the antlions. I'll radio ahead to let the next base know you're coming. That map is out of date, but you can still see more or less the route to Nova Prospect. Can't vouch for the road, though. We've lost touch with some of the outposts. Shore point to NLO. Shore point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? Shore point to NLO. 
Short point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? Short point to NLO. Short point to New Little Odessa. Come in, Odessa. Do you read? Map transition. Highway 17. Short point to. This is one of my favorite. The car's all ready for you. Hop in and I'll lower you down to the beach. Here we go. That's scripted. They want it to fall over so you can know you can flip it with your gravity gun. I want to see what happens if I don't do that, though. Hold on. I want to see if they give me a prompt. Short point to NLO. Short point to new Hello, Dr. Freeman. The car's all ready for you. Hop in and I'll lower you down to the Here we go. If I don't do anything, do they give me a prompt? No? Car up, right? Get the hell out of here! All right, what if I'm really dense, though? What do you tell me? Get that car up, right? Get the hell out of here! Ah, it just repeats. There we go. This is like our first thumper, which we heard one of the NPCs tell us about. And we can very clearly see how it works. It's not rocket science. And this has a mark on it saying, don't go in.
safe's coming. But yeah, these are all optional, so I really don't have to, uh, don't have to do these. These ships ever have anything. Yeah. But we can see the sea level is vastly lower than it was, hence why that ship got marooned. Uh, kind of in the, the headcanon for Half-Life 2 is that the Combine are draining Earth of its natural resources, like water and uh, etc. But because of the limitations of making this game to run on the original Xbox, which, like, had 256 megabytes of RAM or something crazy, uh, they, a lot of stuff got left on the cutting room floor. Yeah, not my best. I should have thrown a grenade in there, but... And then... What? Who's that? The G-Man. It looks like the Combine are scouting out their base. So this is the kind of thing if, if you just breeze on past or don't stop. Yeah, you'll miss something like this. Wow. That guy's following me. G-Man. Alrighty. But yeah, there are multiple ways I could have approached this. I could have come on from below and thrown a grenade. I could have broken open this door and surprised them. But... I'm a smooth brain. SMG grenade.
But yeah, we can very clearly see even the Combine are struggling against this, uh, this kind of megafauna, which was introduced to Earth, uh, kind of accidentally. They didn't do that on purpose. Get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. Colonel Cubbage will be glad to see you made it. This is no time to be wandering around. The Combine's closing in. Stay with me, Freeman. I'd get into the basement if I were you. We're bracing for an attack. So the uh, the user prompts are really good in this game. This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Ah, yes, Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage at your service. Damn. Let me just send a warning to Lighthouse Point, and then I'll come right up and lend a hand. Go on. Teach that gunship a lesson that will never forget. Not dead yet. Dr. Freeman, we know Eli Vance is depending on you. Uh, who opens this gate for me? Good luck in Nova Prospect, Dr. Freeman. Is this a bug? 
Well, that's that. I gather you've disposed of that gunship, Dr. Freeman. Your reputation, sir, is well deserved. I shall have someone open the gate for you immediately so that you can drive on. I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Coverage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. The Freeman must now arrive. The Eli Vance is held in distress most dire. Reason for delay. Drive safely. Use an adverb correctly. Gosh, you think they've given me enough grenades? Oh, these are fixed. They can't be moved. That's weird. And another physics puzzle. Valve puzzles. As Duke Nukem says. I actually like those. I think they're fun. But yeah, they are really proud of their physics engine. And they make sure to put, uh, put it in your face at every available opportunity. So... Oh, <laughs> 
almost forgot. close. I think that's scripted to land pretty much right on top of you, but...
they set up two small roadblocks. And then this one is really interesting. They block the road. But, like, you can still move all this junk out if you want. And then you come up here and you see a dead guy, a bunch of rebar, and this weapon. And then we have a gate blocking our way. Advanced Alien Race still uses blocks to keep their car from moving. Oh yeah, this is something you're very unlikely to see unless you go out of your way to look for it. This is a little bit of environmental storytelling, which this game is really good at. It's very sad, but if you don't have a careful eye, you'll be confused with the story. So, show, don't tell.
I have one viewer, Jaboy Moo Moo five four three. Hello, your name is supposed to be Teletubby. Yep, that's basically it. <laughs> Thank you for watching the stream. Yeah, I like showing off this game, and I'm playing it, of course, you know, how somebody new to the game would play it. Making sure I see everything that's interesting. I think if you play on hard, there's a shotgunner in here. So. But yeah, this area is really neat. This is some of the best level design in the game, I think. This area up ahead. And it really does take advantage of every facet of the Source Engine. You know, large environments... happen here. It's ugly. Look at me, I'm so smart.
reflexes. And yeah, so if we're trying to get ahead, we're getting our buggy after exploring this area. And we very clearly have the skate here, so if we trace the wire, we see it going all the way to the other side of the bridge.
one of these is a grenade. I'm not sure which. So smart. access field inactive. So all doors in this game are bi-directional, they always open away from you, but you can barricade doors. Comes in handy sometimes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, yep. End of the chapter. Might be a good place to stop. Thanks for watching.